to my Hey It's Carly Ray book club on YouTube. Today I'm super excited because I'm here to do another amazing virtual book review on my channel. But before I get started, you guys need to hit the subscribe button and then hit the bell to be alerted of all the new videos on my channel. So I've been getting so many messages about what book I am going to be doing a virtual book review on today. And if you guys follow me on social media, you guys know what book I'm going to be doing. And yes, it is an indie novel. I'm so excited to get the chance to do this amazing virtual book review because this indie novel was actually one of my favorites this year because this book was so easy to read. So when the author asked if I would do a virtual book review on my channel, I could not wait to share with you guys more about this book. So without further ado, what book are we gonna be talking about on Hey It's Carly Rae today? It is da -da -da -da. Terra Nova by MTG. Here's a close up of this cover. And in case you guys cannot tell from the cover, it is about vampires. And as you guys know, I'm a huge vampire fan when it comes to books because Twilight was like my first paranormal romance book that I ever read. And yes, it is like one of my favorites. So I was super excited to get the chance to read Terra Nova. Now, before I talk more about this, if you guys do have your copy of this book, hit the pause button, go and grab it and then come back because we're going to be talking about all things Terra Nova in this amazing virtual book review. Now, before I do get started, you guys need to know this is a spoiler free video. So I'm not going to be giving anything away in this video. I'm just going to be talking about this book with you guys. So let's get started. So what is this book about? This book centers around the character of Evangeline and she's a normal teenage girl. She has two best friends, Val and Cynthia. She goes to high school and little do some people know she suffers from a mysterious illness. She gets severe abdominal pain. So she's always in and out of ER, in and out of doctor's appointments and nobody knows what's wrong with her. Well, one night she decides to attend a party with Val and Cynthia and Ian is there who has a crush on Evangeline and it is during the party that she suffers a really bad episode of pain so she gets rushed into ER and she gets checked in and this is when they diagnose her with a genetic blood disorder. So Evangeline learns kind of what is wrong with her. So from there the story kind of takes us in and out of other perspectives. Her brother Raphael we get to see different points of view from him and then we also get to learn more about Val and Cynthia and then another character Bambi. Now I said this was a spoiler free video so I'm not going to give you guys too much away about the characters but I will say Evangeline decides to befriend Bambi and basically they go to someone's house and it is at this house that Evangeline gets pulled into this whole other world. Cynthia ends up going with her. So where do they arrive? They arrive in Terra Nova. Now this is where the book kind of takes us on an all new kind of genre. We get to get basically dive into fantasy paranormal where we meet vampires. And the one thing I really enjoyed about this book is the vampire storyline is truly original. I know a lot of people when you think of vampires you think oh my gosh Twilight 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 well the great thing about Terra Nova is I did not get any like hints of Twilight in it it is an all new story of vampires and so we get Evangeline she goes to Terra Nova with Cynthia and that is where we get to meet kind of an all new inclusive cast of characters in Terra Nova we get to meet Eros we get to meet um Julia and we get to meet Evan and they are kind of like they're their own family and they're vampires and they're kind of like really really high up in Terra Nova. Now again I'm not giving anything away you guys are gonna have to check out this book to find out but it is in Terra Nova you kind of get this like essence of like royal kind of medieval like you can like really really picture this mysterious world. And all while all this is happening with her, we get to go in and out of like different points of view. We get to touch back base with Raphael and see if her brother is able to find out what happened to his sister. Like, where did she go? Is she in a whole other dimension? Did she go to like this like secret town? Like, where did his sister go? You guys will have to get your copy of the book to find out if Raphael can uncover where his sister is and can uncover like how he can get to her. The whole time Evangeline is like, he's gonna rescue me. Like she thinks like she's basically in another town, but is she? Now along the way we get to see Cynthia and Evangeline, like I said, they weren't exactly super close best friends. So will the situation pull them closer? You guys will have to check this book to find out. 
But what you guys also need to check this book to find out is if these characters survive living with vampires. Because as you guys know, vampires, like, they're attracted to blood. And nobody in Terra Nova has seen a human in, like, over, like, decades. So they are, like, enthralled by them and they want, like, their blood. So will they be able to survive long enough to get out? That's a question you guys will have to, again, find out. Um, now, when I posted this on social media, a lot of you guys were asking me, well, is there romance in this book? Um, yes, there is romance in this book. And it is around Evangeline. Now, you guys will have to check this book out to find out who her love interest is. But I really did enjoy the storyline with the love interest because it wasn't, like, again, it's it's not like Twilight like these characters are all strong on their own and Evangeline like she decides kind of like her destiny with it. So I really, really enjoyed reading Terra Nova. I think it's a great addition to the book genre. Again, I love the fact that it has different genres in it. Like you get paranormal, you get fantasy, and then like at the beginning it's like super like real feeling. So you do get a whole bunch of different genres that again I thoroughly enjoyed. Now I posted my virtual book review on heyitscarlyray.com and I'm going to tell you guys how many stars I gave it and all the different categories that I love classifying books in. So we have the plot of this book. I gave this book a 5 out of 5 in plot because I really enjoyed the fact that the plot of this book was something I haven't read before. And as you guys know, I read a ton of books. So when I go to read a novel, I always look for, okay, is the plot original? Have I read this before? Is it a copy of something else? Is it pulling me in a whole bunch of different directions? But I thoroughly enjoyed the plot line. I loved the fact there is different genres and I loved the fact that you could follow the plot really, really easily. So that was something I really, really enjoyed. Now character development. I gave it a four out of five. I thought the characters were really well developed. I definitely connected with Evangeline and I also really did enjoy the character of Cynthia. Now grammar, I gave it a four out of five and overall I really did enjoy all all of the different aspects of the grammar in it. I really enjoyed how when you read the book, it was something again, you could easily understand. Storyline, I gave five out of five because the originality in the storyline is something I've never seen before. And then writing style, I gave a four out of five. So overall, I definitely recommend checking out this book. And if you guys have watched this virtual book review, I want you to definitely comment below and let me know if you guys are going to go check out this book. Now, as you guys know, all the times when I do virtual book reviews, I post it on my social media asking you guys to submit questions. And I had so many of you guys curious about asking me more what this book is about. So, okay, so the first question we have on today's Q&A is Jude from Facebook. Hey, Jude, you said, is there romance in this novel? Um, I kind of answered that earlier. Yes, there is romance in this novel. Um, the character of Evangeline, she has a love interest. And I really enjoyed the romance in it because because you get to feel them strong on their own, which I really, really enjoy. And the romance felt very authentic. So that was Jude from Facebook. The second question we have is Kelly from Instagram. Hey, Kelly. You said, what's up with the cover? Does it relate to the story? Yes, this cover does relate to the story because as you guys can see, the red eye. So I really, really enjoyed it because Terra Nova kind of is like this like abstract world. So I absolutely love the cover. It does relate to it. And yeah, you guys definitely need to check it out. Sharon from Twitter. Hey, Sharon. You said, did you have a favorite part of the novel? Um, my favorite part of the novel, I would have to say, is when Cynthia and Evangeline, they first get into this other world of Terra Nova because this is like where the plot kind of takes a twist and we get to meet an all new dimension of a world. So I really, really enjoyed that aspect of the novel. It was one of my favorites. I thought how she wrote it was really easy to follow. It's not one of those... Um, like parts of a book where you read it and you're like, okay, where do these characters go? Like, I have no idea. You could easily follow it and how she described it was awesome. Caroline from Instagram. Hey, Caroline. You said, how was the world building of Terra Nova? The world building was amazing. I want to go to Terra Nova. I thought it was great. I loved the descriptions of the town. I really felt like I was there. So the world building in Terra Nova, you can really picture it when you're reading it. So I think it's great. Bobby R. from Facebook. Hey, Bobby. You said, what makes this different from other vampire novels? 
Okay, well, I kind of touched base on this. Um, it's different from other vampire novels in the sense where it's not solely about, like, the vampires, like, wanting to, like, kill that character that is human for their blood. Yes, that's in there, but this storyline is about so much more than that. So that's how I think it differs. And I thought, like, again, the romance in it differed from a typical um, vampire novel. And I thought, like, just the overall fantasy aspect of it all the different elements that MTG introduced through it was um, different and it was exciting and it really holds your interest. And then finally, Karen G from Twitter, you said, who was your favorite character? Um, I'm gonna have to say my favorite character was probably Evan. I really, really enjoyed him as a character. Um, I thought he was greatly like written because yes, he is a vampire, but yes, he's also young. So I thought how MTG wrote him was amazing. So that concludes today's Q&A session on Hey It's Carly Rae's YouTube video for the book review Terra Nova. Now if you guys haven't checked out this book I'm putting the link below so you guys can go get your copy today. I'd love to hear more about what you guys have to say about it and if you guys have read it what you loved most and if you haven't read it why you want to go check it out now. So definitely comment below. Now, if you guys have social media and you guys do not follow me, you guys can go on Instagram and follow me at Hey It's Carly Ray. You guys can go to Twitter and follow me at Hey It's Carly Ray One. You guys can also go to Tumblr and follow me at Hey It's Carly Ray. And then you guys can also go to Pinterest and follow me at Hey It's Carly Ray. And then finally, if you guys are on Facebook, you guys can follow me at Hey It's Carly Ray. And then you also can join my book club at Hey It's Carly Ray. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's virtual book review. I cannot wait for you guys to comment below and tell me what you guys think. And be sure to comment and tell me what book you guys want to see me review next on my channel. I hope you guys have an awesome day.